Welcome to day 5 of understanding how LLMs work. So in our last video, we learned about attention, the spotlight mechanism that LLMs uses to understand the importance of words. So if you haven't watched it yet, mm -hmm. I highly recommend you to check it out for better understanding of this video. So today, we will explore about feed forwarding networks. So in our last video, we got a bunch of words along with how important they are, right? However, LLMs still don't know how huh? to make a meaningful sentence out of it. So for a better understanding of this concept, consider this scenario like a measured ingredients poured together into a bowl to make a cake. So in the making of cake, the importance of ingredients like sugar, eggs, butter are very high. Whereas ingredients like vanilla extract, salt, dry fruit might be considered as low. The same thing applies here. LLM has a bunch of important words along with some not so important words as well. But to make a cake, all of them should mix together and for that it requires oven, right? So in this case, Feed forwarding networks are like ovens. It takes the recipe of each single word and bakes them into a new and more sophisticated understanding. But mind you, these networks are not the one building the final sentence. It's just perfecting each individual block before the LLM starts to generate a meaningful response. So here's how it works. Every word with their recipes go through these networks to change into a context-rich, refined and stable concepts. The king block after getting into the network might no longer consider as king. The new recipe might now represent the concept of king who ate. The eight block's new recipe might represent the action of eating done by the king to the apple. And the apple block might have a recipe for an apple that was eaten. So once they are converted, then comes the next step, the prediction context. The logical step after feed forwarding networks. So subscribe to my channel so you can't miss it.